Hey guys, welcome back to another tutorial, another image sent in. So quite a vintage faded look in this one. So we'll go straight over to Instagram. I'll tell you or show you certain things she does to her images to get her style. So there's a lot of use of green and yellow tones. As you can see for the fade, which I really like, I really like the style. It's very cinematic. It's underexposed and faded out with the curve. So that's what we're gonna have to focus on in this one. We're working with the image we way down, but I really like this one, for example. Very cinematic, touch underexposed, and there's that flatness roll off, especially to the highlights. Not too much fade in the blacks, and then a pretty smooth texture. So here's an example of a bit harsher sunlight. You can see how flat that goes. Her links down in the description, guys. As always, go down there, give her a follow, let her know you found her through this tutorial. Personally, really like the cinematic look and then really nice tones as well. Let's get straight into this tutorial and try to get the same edit as close as we can with the image that she sent us and, and we'll try to do it pretty quickly. Right guys, so let's get into this edit. As you can see, we're pretty bright in this one. Let's drop the exposure. Now, I wanna put a lot of flatness into this image. So for one, dropping the highlights really helps with that. The whites will help get a bit of a flat look look to get the really flat look you need to use the curves so i'll do the curves now or at least the rgb curve and then i'll explain what i did with it Okay, so here's just the RGB curve done. I won't get too much into it in this video, but this is the sort of curve I'm gonna go for to get a flatness. And as you can see, we've already really flattened out the image. And now I'm just gonna do a bit of a S curve in the color channels to add in a bit more contrast. Okay, so that's the color channels done for the curves here. And it's just a balanced curve in the red, green, and blue channel. And that's just gonna add in some contrast into the shadows. We maybe didn't need such a lift here. We've brought up the blacks quite a bit there, but dropping these a lot added in a lot of contrast. So this needed to come up a lot for that fade. Dropping the highlights and the whites for that fade as well. Right, shadows looking pretty good. Drop that saturation down. I might go with a little, take away a little bit of clarity. It's kind of a natural sort of look. I definitely need to, before we do much else, roll corrections. Yeah, that brightens up a lot. A bit more contrast. So we look pretty blue, pretty purple, and this one, to be honest, is green or warm. So for now, I'm just gonna chuck up the warmth a lot. Do that. For colors, we'll quickly come down to split toning. I like looking at the whites and the whites, like your t-shirt and stuff, you can see there's quite a bit of warmth, if not a green. We'll start with the highlights, even those blues, they, they're purple in our image, but they go quite a teal or almost a green. So let's add in some warmth. It is a yellowy green. Maybe saturation now. Okay, so we're a bit heavy on those oranges and yellows now, and that's because we add them in on the split toning. So these colors need to come down. It's really dropped the greens. So over here, we've got green. Over there, it's completely gone. Let's get rid of that. Yellow. Orange. Okay, that looks good. We've got a lot of reds in our image. We want more oranges, especially like the Ferris wheel in the background. Reds in this direction. Oranges in this direction. Yellows. So I'm thinking they look a bit green. Green would be that way. Let's go a bit more orange. 
Very good. So luminance, brightness of colors. Before we do that, we need a filter. So grab the filter, I'm gonna hold option, reset it about here. Let it filter out a bit. Okay. We just wanna bring up the exposure a bit of the bottom. We look a little too bright, but just before I adjust the brightness, I'm just gonna come down to vignetting. Let's add in a vignette, because that will help with that brightness. Just wanna frame everything, gather it out. While we're here, we'll do a bit of grain. We need to deepen some colors. So definitely like the oranges and stuff. Okay, so we need to deepen colors now. And you can really see that with the reds in the background and then her skin tones. So oranges and reds especially, let's play with those. Reds. Uh, blues in the sky, probably a bit. I know in her other images, it looked like the blue luminance was brought down a lot. Uh, saturation of the blues come up. They're quite prominent. Yeah, we'll roll with that. Aquas. So there's this one little bit of aqua back here. Over in her image, it's completely gone. So let's get that right down. Greens could be a little bit there. As for hue, so our blues are looking very purple still. Even though we added in quite a bit of greenish yellow into the highlights of split turning, we still look a bit greenish blue up there. Let's move that quite a bit. Okay, so that's about it guys. Um, sharpening, it's quite hard to tell with a screenshot from Instagram, but sharpening not that high, maybe. I'll just leave it there, default. I think we're really close. I'm pretty happy with this. One thing I'd point out is like the whites in our bar aren't white. They're a bit yellow, but then her shirt and her one, she probably has a bit more yellow to it. So maybe when she did her curves, she's got maybe a bit more blue in the brightest areas. And that sort of, we'll just add in a tiny bit more blue to there, but then we get but only be a tiny, tiny bit, just so that you don't get too much warmth in the whites. But I'll just keep it how I've got it. I kind of like it there, where it's been too long. Here's our before and after. You can see it still looks bright, but it has that max sort of underexposed look with the curves. So that's the main thing going on there. And I forgot to talk about the settings a bit. So F2 at 35 millimeters, quick shutter speed because it's bright sunlight and she's exposing it. Low ISO, bright sunlight. F2 is probably to get the entire subject in focus and then you can still make out what the background is. A very shallow depth there, F2, but not F1.4 because then the subject starts to get a bit soft around the edges especially. Okay, so we're looking pretty good before and after again. And I'll just show you what the curves are doing. Turn the curves off, on. Really bringing out that silky look to the underexposed image. Right, one thing I'd maybe do is touch up the skin tones with uh, either some brushing. They just come off a little bit yellow at the moment. So I might do that. That sort of fixes up our skin tones a bit. Maybe throws out the oranges in the background a little, but I might just roll with that. I um, won't spend too much time on this one because we have another image. So copy settings. I'm going to select everything except for the obvious ones, exposure, brushes, copy. Let's come across reference image and this one. All right, so let's paste, bang. Doesn't look great. Let's bring down exposure and then contrast. Let's come all the way down. Right, highlights, we sort of want to highlights up a lot. And I'm going by like all this area here. I feel like that is highlights. Whites as well. So I think this image looks it's very hard to describe, but I kind of want to bring up dehaze because it's got a gritty contrast. See how that looks. We'll carry on and see how that looks. Clarity. I think this one's quite crispy. I won't drop that clarity. Right. Okay, most things are good. I think there's going to be quite a bit of adjusting to do with the luminance. So if we just come down to luminance now. Okay, so 
We could either come in with a filter or a brush to brighten our subject or a skin, but I might just reset those really bright oranges we made from the other one. Same with the reds, I'm gonna bring them up a bit. Yellows can stay up quite a bit. Blues in the background, not really. Saturation, so just matching up the colors. Um, was bring back way more oranges and yellows bring down those reds you can see how it's quite pale all around there oranges need to go a lot more of a yellow you can see how they're quite red let's go way more yellow i think our split toning needs adjusting too let's take out the highlight split toning so this goes it's how much better looks take it out right so if we come back up to the curve now this area here is sort of a difficult place to get and it tells us a lot about the editing this flattened highlight here so we want a nice gradual flatness to those bright areas so let's try to adjust this curve then let's bring this down for that real gradual fall off to those highlights there that's what we were after see how now that's a lot more similar to that now if we come down to hsl again let's just drop these purples not a lot of purples in there but i think we could almost take them completely out if you look up there same with magenta yeah definitely drop those a lot right coming down check i don't want profile corrections because that's gonna add in a bit more of a vignette for us kind of want that so we kind of want to brighten our subject a bit if we just place a brush which i've already done here let's bring that up to 30 about 30 something i don't think we need that vignette now that we've enabled profile corrections let's come back maybe get rid of that and then maybe HSL again, maybe taking out a few more blues. I think we're kind of close there, guys. I won't spend too long on this because I was this video would be like 20 minutes long. But if we look at our reset, and then after it back, you can see how much flatter that image is while still looking bright. And quite natural one more time back and yep yeah. um, there's quite a bit of grittiness to hers maybe you could up the sharpening or something but um, I'm pretty happy with that so that wraps up this one guys as I said her links down in the description go give her a follow let her know you found her through this tutorial if you guys are interested in the course that's where I'm spending most of my time trying to make the number one resource for photo editing so you guys can really understand start to finish my thought process and like what tool to use first how do you identify the colors like where do you even place the colors and how do you know that just answering questions like that and giving you guys the ability to create your own style not rely on presets and make the most out of your presets people spend a lot of money on presets for the quick fix and then bounce around youtube for a good couple of years trying to learn how to edit photos but knowing how it works and how you can use it to get the style you want and it's the exact same process i use and yeah i really hope to see you guys in there. there's a free lesson down in the description and i'll catch you guys in the next one